Jacksonville, uh, ain't a bad low. It's been like 12.38 or something like that. Um, going over to Dollar General Warehouse up in Scotts, Scottsville, Kentucky. So realistically, uh, I'll probably get it maybe an hour away from my delivery tonight. Uh, as long as Atlanta don't do me bad. Other than that, uh, try to see what else I can find for tomorrow. Um, because today is currently Tuesday, so I'll be dropping this tomorrow and then trying to find me something else and go from there. Uh, maybe I can get lucky and find a good low going to Carolina real quick. That's paying pretty good because I've been seeing some good stuff on the board. So I'll try to grab something else. A few other things shaking, uh, have us a good week, but I will get back with y'all soon. back with you i am at the dollar general over here in scottsville kentucky um low definitely was a little bit heavier than it should have been or than what it was to have been quoted at so if y'all ever do a walk i mean i'm sorry dollar general load out of um jacksonville either get it scaled or either just drive it um this one had to at least be like 33,000 or something. Wasn't a bad load. Um, just was a little bit heavier. So, uh, other than that, I found a load that's gonna take me. Well, I got a dead over to um, uh, South. I'm sorry, Tennessee. I can't remember exactly what part. I put in an uh, clip when I'm explaining y'all everything about it um, when I get there but as of right now uh, it's supposed to be like a greeting card load um, going down to Texas but see how everything goes and I can give y'all some updates on that one because as of right now um, because of the paperwork I'm sorry not paperwork but bills that I was given in Jacksonville for this current load um, Dollar General told me the Dollar General that I'm at right now in Scottsville told me that uh, I might have to get live loaded and end up holding me up for a good little second. So now I gotta see if I can even meet that appointment um, for my next pickup. If not, I have to look for something else. But yet again, that's truck driving, baby. But uh, I'll get back with y'all on any updates that I find out. All right. going on YouTube uh, just picking up my <laughs> well second attempt tonight at a load um, I had a whole load that I was supposed to have picked up in uh, Tennessee don't really oh Greensville and if you ever see Greensville pop up just know do not show up late earlier than I think like four o'clock um, even though my dispatch 
confirm that <clears throat> even though I was gonna be late and they were gonna let me pull up and get loaded yeah it didn't quite happen like that so low got canceled blah 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 now I'm trying to have to hook up to see if I can even go south at a pretty good rate uh, right now I'm in Chill Howie um, Chill Howie Virginia my bad it's been a long day um, I don't really remember the name of the place I'll drop it down at the bottom uh, real quick for you but uh, pretty good place got loaded up real quick um, it's a load of uh, food products going to Coca-Cola in uh, Dallas so I'm gonna see what I can do load on the way like 28 29,000 pounds and I think it's paying like 25 and some change if I remember correct um, not quite sure at the moment because I looked at 50 million different loads to try to back up the one that ended up canceling so just watch out be careful of that um, other than that I ain't got much time left but like an hour I'm gonna try to go ahead and get this joke in the wheel and yeah I'm gonna holler at y'all later if I have any more updates hey guys I'm back with you I'm over here at a good year in Lenore, Tennessee. Um, had stopped to get fuel in Knoxville at the pilot. I'm over here off of 40. Um, was getting fuel, got on my passenger side, noticed that my tire was looking really worn out. So decided to look for the nearest um, uh, Goodyear Tire Center uh, since we get a good discount. But that's F5. Uh, just use the money in my maintenance account because well, I take money out of my pocket if I ain't got to. So came over here to see great great folks over here. And they got your boy back right. If you ever come over here, um, ask for Tony. And he's the uh, center manager. I want to say that was his name if I remember correct. If not, I will grab it real quick and make sure I pop it up right here for you guys. Uh, but they got me in and out in probably 30 minutes, if not less. Um, so if y'all ever need a tire or need a tire change, check, whatever, come check the folks out at Goodyear, the North Tennessee. All right, y'all, I'll be back with y'all when I have another update or <laughs> when I deliver this load. you over here at the coca-cola in dallas texas um just dropped off my load it actually turned out being a dropping hook instead of a um instead of a live load i mean a live unload like i was told but anywho uh wasn't a bad run all the way from uh chill howie at the um sig company um i just couldn't remember it but then i was talking to y'all had a lot going on trying to run around and make some things happen but anywho uh low was on like twenty eight thousand and some odd pounds it's pretty easy um got over here to the coke and when you get here what you're gonna do is uh you're gonna get off of I 35 East. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm I mean north, my bad. Um then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get off on exit. I 
want to say it was 87. I might be wrong. Don't quote me. But anywho, uh, when you get here, you'll have to, depend on which where you come from, um, you might have to make a, uh, you might be coming down Lemon Avenue. And what you're going to do is when you get to Mockingbird Lane, you're going to make a left at the light and that's where you're going to turn at to get into here. And it'll look real out of nowhere, uh, just weird because you're right next to the Dallas airport. But you'll make it, should be a left in here or if you're coming from the opposite direction, you'll make a right. And then you'll just talk to the guard, then you'll drive in. Simple though, they only pay 28, 27, 20. So it's actually gonna put me at a pretty good week uh, for right now. But they have no empty, so that is another thing. Um, Cause when I booked this load, they said it was supposed to be a dropping hook. I mean, not dropping a live unload, but uh, according to the security guard, it's a dropping hook. So beware of that. Um, Pretty much a uh, open window for the most part. Um, make sure that y'all, as soon as y'all make the right to come back towards the docks, make sure y'all stay out a little wide. Like when you're trying to go around, because there's a pole that in a little small narrow area, and uh, yeah, is is tight here. So if you're not a good backer or good on or quick on your feet don't come here I'm, I'm just letting you know but anywho uh, I gotta go to the Dallas yard go cook up a empty and then from there pick up my next load down in Wilmer Texas but I will holler at y'all as soon as I have an update peace You. I'm over here at the Dallas terminal uh, just picking up my MD just a word to the wise there ain't many MDs here as far as regular JB hunt trailers it might be some dedicated trailers here um, but it's the live 360s but a lot of them are either not good trailers or some of them are like dedicated so if you ever come here and look for one, be aware, you might only find one trailer. Um, I ended up only finding one trailer that was available. They sent me here to pick up a certain trailer number, but somebody's already connected to it. Uh, my review on the terminal is small. It's kind of like Atlanta. Um, but the only other thing about it is it is enough room for us to come here and park so if you need to park you can um i didn't go inside to know if they have any food or vending or um showers or washing machines just because I'm trying to hurry up and do a pickup um but so what i know is nice little terminal don't mind actually come here next time i come to texas if i'm close by and i need to park somewhere but let me go ahead and get to this pickup for Polar in Wilmer, Texas, and I'll get back with y'all on the beats uh, for that. But I'ma holla at y'all a little bit. over here in Wilmer, Texas at the Kohler Warehouse. Um, that's another tip for you if you're looking up on a truck GPS or even like Google Maps. It, um, it might show up as Wilmer. If not, it'll show up as Ferris, Texas. Same exact address, 
you can use it it'll take you bring it right here uh nice place real big got plenty of space so if you still trying to get down back in, um you should be good uh load on the page like 23 and some change going back to um about also to the lows and it's a lot lighter than what they said uh it's supposed to be my book is supposed to be like 34 35 thousand but i get my paperwork and it's 21 okay so y'all know how i feel about that i'm happy so i'm gonna go ahead and try to get as far as i can to do uh got my appointment for tomorrow in texas i mean in georgia and after that going home i should be grossing out like 65 6600 since i have a tnu truck not used um for that greenville tennessee load but i'm going to finish up on my pre-trip of the trailer and we're gonna keep on getting it all right y'all What's going on, y'all? I'm back with you. I'm over here at the Lowe's in Dot Austin, Georgia. Uh, just dropped off the load. It's actually a smooth trip. I ended up going the wrong way. Um, trying, to, trying to get some cheap fuel, and that kind of screwed me because I actually didn't even end up getting the fuel for the price I sent, saw for, which was like. 363 or 358 I can't even remember because I saw it yesterday but it happens so lesson learned <laughs> I will not go out of my way again to try to get cheaper fuel uh, unless I can get it the same day I see it but as of right now I'm about to try to clean out this trailer and get back to the house um, so I can get my 34 because I only have probably like eight hours left or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And as of right now, uh, I should be grossing out easily at 5,700 and some, I'm sorry, not 57, 6,700 and some change. Um, so, ain't too bad of a week to say a lot of uh, mishaps came up, but it happens. I was hoping for a better week because uh, the way I had myself booked at first, could have easily did 76 to 8,200. But it is what it is. My personal best right now is 7,800. So, see what I can do next week. I already have a load booked. Um, that's picking up like 30 minutes from my house in Ocala. So, try to see what I can grab and what I'll do with that. And it's taking me right back to Texas. Actually, it's taking me to Mount Vernon. So, try to see what I can get done. And maybe we'll have a better week next week. But for right now, I'm out. Remember, stay safe, y'all. Be blessed. If y'all have any questions, comments, hit up my Instagram. And if y'all have anything else that y'all want to say that y'all might not be able, or if you don't have social media, just hit me up in the comments. Remember, like, sub, and share. But I'm going to highlight y'all next week. Take care.